Sorry about that guys, part 2 of the Top Doctor figure review, I had a problem trying to get the Sonic screwdriver in hand. Um, let's look at the detailing. His face doesn't really look too much like Peter Capaldi because in real life Peter Capaldi has more wrinkles and his hair's more lighter. This one is a bit too young. He looks like Daniel Craig or Jeremy Kyle. He does have grey and what looks like a white wash in his hair. But it's very faint. He has his thick eyebrows. Very depressed looking. He has his crombie coat. Not the red one in series 9, this is the series 8. Crombie coat and if I peel it back. Can there is red lining in the crombie coat. He's got the white shirt. It isn't entirely accurate because. He should be having a waistcoat, but he doesn't, he just has the crumbly coat and the white shirt. The white shirt has buttons, but they are very smooth, just slightly face sculpt. Same with his jacket. He has very sloppy white cuffs painted. He's missing a belt buckle. He has a belt, but there should be a buckle. There isn't one. Dark grey trousers. And black glossy boots. His articulation is swell head, ball hinge shoulders, hinge elbow, rotation at the bicep, swell wrist, swell waist, ball hinge hips, Hinge knees and rotation at the ankle. Also, his left hand is in that pointing promo promotional photo pose. There is three other variants of the figure. There's your black shirt variant, purple shirt variant, and white polka dot shirt variant. Now, this head can actually be popped off. I think it can. Oh no, it can't. That's weird. I thought it could pop off, but it can't. That must be on the. This must be a newer release where the head doesn't come off. That's a shame because could have swapped it for the Time of the Doctor figure set, 12th Doctor head, which is more accurate to Peter Capaldi. This one does have some resemblance to Peter Capaldi, but he's just a bit smooth. Clara, am I a good man? I don't know who you are anymore, Doctor. Well, I can say one thing to the Daleks. This is a message to the Daleks from the TARDIS. This is just Clara Oswald and the Doctor in the
the TARDIS. So yeah, I give the figure 8 out of 10. It's the back of the coat. Not bad. Sorry this video is in two parts. There's the packaging. I think it's not bad. Red lining the coat. He's a bit taller than the other Doctor Who figures. He's sorting his head out. That's a real shame it can't pop off. So I think I'll show you the packaging again. Got two logo. Top Doctor Collector Series action figure. At the back we have a biography about how Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, regenerates into Peter Capaldi, the 12th Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I've lived for over 2,000 years. Not all of them were good. There's an image of the figure. 5.5 inch collector series action figure. So... the inside of the packaging. And the actual figure itself. Hope I haven't ruined the head. Oh well. He has his sort of screwdriver. It's got bronze, silver, I mean copper, bronze, gold, silver, black and white, and I think it's got a green tip. It's closed unlike the 11th Doctor one. This figure is also going to be repacked in the 13 Doctors figure set but that will be the black shirt variant with darker hair and I think the red lining will be lighter and the coat will be a different colour and he will have a buckle on that variant I'm not sure which episode it's from I think this one's from Deep Breath don't know correct me if that's wrong could be Mummy from the Orient Express or the Caretaker. Not too sure. Cuffs is still a bit sloppy. He's got that pointing hand. It's more the glossy boots. Sorry, the camera is a bit fuzzy. The back of the jacket, back of his head. So yeah, this is linking part one. Sorry there's two parts to this video, 
I don't know what happened. But yeah. Still. Kill Lincoln Part 1. I'm the doctor.